So basically, I want to create a logo that looks like it's drawn. I already have one here. I'm going to try it in Krita because they just added animation tools. So I'm going to create a transparent layer and then just kind of make it appear. I'm going to create a mask selecting the same colors. There you go. And then I need to make that selection a little bit bigger because once it's masked, it might be too tight. So I'm going to grow that selection. Let's do three. Three pixels. All right. So I got that. So this way when it's in transparency mode, I'll be able to see what I'm doing. And you'll see what I mean in a second here. So create a new layer, transparency mask right underneath, and then I'm gonna fill the whole thing with black. Boom. Little dashed lines will show me what the heck I'm looking for here. So now I need a brush tool. I need the color to be the opposite. So I'm gonna switch this to white instead. So let's see if that works. There it is. All right, so I'm on frame one here. We're gonna give the little indication that that's where it's starting. I'm doing these by 12 at a frame rate of 12. I'm gonna do them on the twos because I like a nice little quick drawing. This is only gonna be like a second or so long when it's done. So I'm gonna do the second frame here. So it's gonna start there and it's gonna go. So I'll draw that so it'll look like it's a big line drawn like that. So if I go here, first frame, second frame, third frame. Yeah, eh, eh. All right, so that's gonna go. But to make it look like it's going back and forth, since I did it on the two, I'm gonna do a little keyframe indicator right in between the twos down here. There we go. So it'll be. Choo -choo, choo -choo. Like that, so it's gonna look hopefully like I'm going. Choo. Ah, damn it. Doesn't really look like that. Let's see. Ah, maybe it does. Let's see what it looks like if I just do the whole thing. Apparently I need to make that noise while I'm doing it. There we go. I want to do this as a back and forth again. Like it did on top. So... I'm going to do that like this. Yeah. Not in a good enough line. So start there. There we go. Stop in between so when I have to control Z, I don't lose the whole stupid line. All right. Make sure I got all those. And then draw the line back. One, two, three. Look at that, I can count. Good Lord, I don't know why I counted that out loud. Like that. Make it look like it's scribbling back and forth. Now we're going to play it back and see what I don't like about it. Hmm. All right, I'm going to need to give some more indicators to show what it looks like. So we get that, then pow. Then that, then pow. So when it goes back down to that one, I think I want to add some in-betweens there. So I'm going to go like that. That way it looks like it's scribbled. And then we'll make it look like it's going back and forth. Just 
right that way there and then that one's supposed to be that so all right now let's see what that looks like all right i think that's better and last bit is i want the logo to just pop up as a whole like it goes bloop and actually that's a noise i'm going to use when i do the when i add the sound effect so i'm going to go two frames where it stops and then add the whole logo here so it'll go bloop <laughs> and that's what it'll do I think that'll work now I'm going to add some sound effects to it in a video editor and then I should have a new logo animation